Well, I'm joined here by Manuel Petrosian. Uh, Manuel, one question that I want to start off with is your surname, Petrosian. Yes. Is it a very common surname in Armenia or is, is there a chess relation with the world champion Petrosian? No, it's very common uh, surname in Armenia. I mean, it's very popular in Armenia. Okay. Uh, tell us about your game uh, yesterday. First of all, you beat Neverov to reach four out of four. You were the sole leader, uh, but you were in pressure throughout the game. I think you had a not a great position, right? Yes. Uh, yesterday I have uh, I have not so good position, but uh, I mean I defended it. Then after I equalized. Then uh, he don't want to go, uh, do immediately draw. I mean, in when I take d take c5, he can take b take c5, queen c5, take everything, and it's draw. But he wants to play for uh, advantage for uh, um, I think more than draw. He plays bishop e5. Uh, then I take the pawn, and some stab uh, stabilization goes to knight e knight e8 f6. Then maybe it's good for white, but I think it's unclear because, and uh, especially he's in time trouble and not so easy for white. I mean, okay, Engine says that it's good for white, but I'm not sure it's uh, so easy for human to find all these moves. I mean, uh, bishop e3 or rook d2, it's not so easy. He was very tricky at one point. Uh, he was threatening queen f8 check and if you played queen g8, rook into h6 was coming. But you found this knight d6 move which was beautiful. Had you seen it from before? Yes, of course. Uh, I see it before the bishop e2. Uh, then bishop e2, if queen f8, I go back queen g8 and uh, I'm uh, winning in exchange. Or, or maybe more. <laughs> then if rook h3, I see this idea with knight d6. Of course, it's uh, defending everything. Uh, and uh, f5, bishop is hanging. And uh, I, I win uh, a lot of material. Uh, I mean, uh, I want to play instead of bishop e2, rook a4 first. But then queen f8, queen g8, take, take, and rook b1. And then my bishop is hanging. Then it's, uh, it's draw. Yeah. And, uh, so overall, uh, five out of six here in Goa. Uh, are you happy with your performance till now? Uh, okay, I'm. Uh, of course, I'm happy uh, because uh, if I, I want to say if in Bhubaneswar I don't play, uh, so I, I play very, very bad. Uh, okay, not very bad, but I play. Uh, some r risky games when I can lose, then uh, step by step my uh, my uh, game is uh, comes uh, good. Then uh, here I started with five out of five, and tomorrow uh, today I can I have a winning position. Uh, I, I have a big advantage oh, no. all, in all all the game, uh, but. Uh, Somehow I I missed it that uh, queen f1 check. I, I think e5 and it's made, but then I saw that queen f1 check and uh, it's not unclear, very unclear position. Then I, I have to go to this draw. But uh, I I think uh, I, I I improve uh, my chess skills. Then I trying some new new lines, new something new, and. I'm very happy. Yeah. I have to correct myself, you are on 6 out of 7, not 5 out of 6. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, tell us about your uh, experience overall in India, Bhubaneswar, Mumbai, Goa. Are you enjoying it? Is this your first time that you are coming to India? Yes, it's my first time in India. Uh, uh, I mean, it's uh, very interesting for me so, because it's uh, something new. <laughs> I, I mean, India is especially uh, have a special uh, colors. <laughs> then, uh, but I, I, for me, food or uh, every uh, food is okay for me. Uh, I mean, I like spicy. Then uh, I, I have no problems uh, in any uh, to to eat something spicy. Uh, 
And uh, I have a full of emotions in chess. Uh, I, I mean, I play one month in a row every day, uh, double rounds, and uh, with uh, we and with sound well. We talking about chess in room, and uh, so, so I, I think it's uh, very good. It's a complete chess experience for you, Abby. Yes, uh, and so who who wants to be in chess and <laughs> play a lot of chess? He he must to come here and play this three three four tournaments in a row, and it's uh, completely good. Yeah. You, you think your level of play has improved than when you started here in India? Yes, of course, of course. First, it's a little bit hard for me to. To acclimatization to everything, but then, uh, then I uh, step by step, it's uh, everything okay. And now I'm playing okay. Maybe I'm a little bit tired now, but uh, yeah. it's okay. Only three more to go. Yeah, only <laughs> three, three rounds to go, and I mean, uh, I, it's very, very interesting. So hypothetically, if you went back uh, home and if your friends in Armenia or Europe asked you about uh, how your experience is, would you recommend them to come to India and play? Yes, of course. Uh, uh, I say if you want to, to play chess, to improve your chess skills, to uh, you, you, you have to go to India and play the, okay, in a row, maybe three tournaments, maybe two tournaments, uh, but it's very good for chess. You, you're playing every day and uh, something, everything, uh, I mean, after one game you can, you can preparing, then you play another game and it's very good, I think, for, for chess players, for professionals. That's great to know. Last question to you is, are you a full-time chess player or do you do something else? Do you study? No, I'm generated in chess. I'm studying in university, but uh, generally, generally I'm, I'm in trainings, uh, I'm, I'm in chess. So your aim is like to become one of the best players in the world? No, I I won't. Uh, I can't say now, but uh, but uh, I'm trying to do my best, and I don't know what what can uh, what's happening. But I I'm trying to do my best. Well, Manuel, it was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Thank you. Thank you.